Hey, what's going on everybody? Thomas here, and this is Buffalo Fanatics. In this video, I'm going to be answering the question, do the Buffalo Bills even need another wide receiver? So first off, I want to acknowledge that Tyrod Taylor has actually kind of earned himself a kind of a bad reputation of checking the ball down to players um, like the tight ends and the running backs and the fullbacks um, instead, of, instead of throwing the ball um, on medium and long passes to wide receivers I mean even short passes he will throw the ball to a tight end over um, a wide receiver now this can be of course argued from two different standpoints like well the wide receivers aren't getting open enough or Tyrod Taylor just doesn't like to take shots and I think it's a little bit of both but I think it's more that Tyrod Taylor doesn't like to take shots um, because he is smart with the football and we know that he doesn't turn the ball over and so it makes sense that his stats reflect his checkdowns because he doesn't turn the ball over and usually there's not um, DBs um, that are gonna jump the route on a flat route and take a pick six like that one play that Micah Hyde did when, when he was back in Green Bay and he, and he jumped the route on the Des Bryant screen pass that was insane if you haven't seen that you should go check that out because that's insane but usually it doesn't happen so the thing that we have to look at here is is it the wide receivers or is it the quarterback now personally like I said I think it's the quarterback but the wide receivers do tend to not get open because we got guys like Andre Holmes and Kelvin Benjamin and Zay Jones and Jordan Matthews um, even Deontay Thompson which Deontay Thompson is a little bit different from everybody else because he is kind of a burner and he does get downfield very quickly and he doesn't have a problem going deep um, so he's kind of like the only guy that they had as a deep threat that's why they brought him on and he was great um, but pretty much for the rest of the other wide receivers they're kind of more like possession uh, catchers and there's not any really good um, I mean Jordan Matthews would probably be labeled as the best route runner um, in my I would label him as the best route runner in my opinion um, just because he's kind of like a slot guy so he knows how to run good routes and stuff Calvin Benjamin um, is just kind of like that go jump up and get it you know he uses his arms to uh, get past you know defenders basically get open um, without even really having any separation um, Zay Jones is kind of more of a route runner slash possession catcher. I mean, he's got a, he's got a great build, but he has he's not he doesn't really have that he doesn't really have like a big specialty of things that he can do, especially because he did have a torn labrum um, that he played through the, the entire season with. And Andre Holmes kind of just was kind of like a guy on the roster. He didn't really even make that big of an impact. So I actually want to acknowledge that Charles Clay and Shady McCoy a tight end and a running back actually led the team in receptions and in receiving yards in the 2017 regular season. So I actually want to make a point and say that you can't really blame the wide receivers and say, oh, we need better wide receivers, none of them can catch, none of them can do this, because the thing is, they only had a certain amount of catchable passes that were thrown their way. And just because Tyrod Taylor may throw the ball their way, doesn't mean the ball is catchable. So now I want to talk about the stats and what they kind of mean for each of these wide receivers on the Buffalo Bills roster currently. So Deontay Thompson had 27 receptions for 430 yards. He averaged 15.9 yards per catch and he had one touchdown. Now the interesting thing about him is he basically came in midseason and balled out. He came in and he had a big impact. I remember that Colts game where Deontay Thompson did that long route in the snow and Joe Webb threw that ball and that was a beauty and, and you know he just looked it in the whole way so he probably had the biggest impact um, this season for all of the wide receivers so next up we got Zay Jones now Zay Jones he had 27 receptions for 316 yards 11.7 yards per catch and he had two touchdowns now the thing about Zay Jones is he did play the entire regular season with a torn labrum which I believe is in your shoulder and so if you can imagine trying to catch a pass you know moving your arm you have to move your shoulder so it's gonna be hard to catch a pass especially a non catchable pass that's why a lot of fans were like Zay Jones you know you got to catch that pass in Carolina you win the game you can't blame him for that because I don't even know I don't know if he was injured there it does say I did read though that he was injured the entire season so it might have been kind of lingering um, but 
you know, I don't know how bad his condition was in week two. But he didn't have that much production, and I think it's just because the catchable balls that were thrown his way um, weren't that many. So I don't really necessarily blame him because he did have an injury and he didn't have the best throws to him. But look for him to make a big impact in 2018. So next up, we got Jordan Matthews. Now, Jordan Matthews had 25 receptions for 282 yards. He averaged 11.3 yards per catch, and he did have one touchdown. Now, Jordan Matthews did get injured um, throughout the season, kind of like a little bit after mid after midway, and he was placed on injured reserve. So, of course, that does hurt him for um, getting a big contract um, in this offseason. However, I could see the Bills trying to resign him maybe to like a two or three year um, cheap kind of deal, trying to get him back just because he did have an injury and he probably won't be able to get a lot of money from another team. So moving on, we have my personal favorite wide receiver on the Buffalo Bills roster, Kelvin Benjamin. I love Kelvin Benjamin. I just love his size. I love what he brings. I love the skill set. But he had 16 receptions for 217 yards. He averaged 13.6 yards per catch, and he did have one touchdown. It should have been two. Let me just say, refs, you blew it against New England. Like, you always blow the calls. Like, you always blow the game. It's always in their favor. But um, hopefully that changes this year. Hopefully. And a um, little rant real quick. I freaking hate the Patriots, man. I mean, come on. That was a clear catch. He did bobble that catch, but it should have been two touchdowns. If the Bills got a touchdown in that game, they could have won that game. And I know a lot of people might be laughing at me because of that. But think about how much that changes the direction of how the game goes. Damn refs. So he did come in halfway, right at the trade deadline, but he only had 16 receptions. 16 receptions. I mean, that just shows you, he did not get enough targets, because he catches the ball pretty well, you know, and sometimes I get like, you're not gonna catch the ball and stuff, it's, well, that's with everybody. But throw those contested balls, I don't know why you're not. I mean, that's crazy. You know, how do you not throw the ball up to Kelvin Benjamin, especially when he's in, when he's in single coverage? I don't know. So my last wide receiver that I'm gonna talk about is Andre Holmes. Now, Andre Holmes had 13 receptions for 120 yards. He averaged 9.2 yards per catch, and he did have three touchdowns. Now, despite getting injured late in the season, he actually did lead the team in receiving touchdowns for the entire season with three touchdowns. Now, if you ask me, three touchdowns from your leading touchdown receiver? That's something wrong with the quarterback, if you ask me. Three. So the reason why I'm not mentioning um, Brandon Tate is because he's kind of more of a kickoff and punt return specialist. He's not really considered as a wide receiver when you really look at him. Um, he's usually on special teams, so that's why I'm not gonna. Uh, that's why I didn't mention him. Um, but I don't think he will be back next year just because he is 30 years old. So Deontay Thompson, Jordan Matthews, and Brandon Tate are all set to be free agents. Now, if you count the Buffalo Bills wide receivers that were on the active roster in the 2017 season, if those free agents go elsewhere in 2018, we're looking at three wide receivers on our active roster. And of course, as this title says, we obviously need another wide receiver, but who? Who is gonna come in and fill? Are we gonna go draft? Are we gonna go free agency? Are we gonna trade? I would love to know who you guys want. Who do you guys want in a Buffalo Bills uniform? Let me know in the comments down below. I really want to know. But personally, I think that the Buffalo Bills should resign Deontay Thompson over Jordan Matthews and Brandon Tate. They should make him a priority. I know he is 28 years old. However, he's very productive. He's just like Shady in the same kind of sense because Shady's very productive. Although he is getting up there in age, keep him because he's producing. And I think that the Buffalo Bills should resign him to like a two-year deal, a two-year cheap deal um, worth a few million, um, nothing major, um, to try to keep him back on the roster as your deep threat. Until he runs out of speed, then you either cut him or just wait for his contract to be up. Even though I would love for the Buffalo Bills to resign Jordan Matthews because I think he is a pretty good wide receiver and he has a lot of potential, because of his injury, I think they will move on from him. I think it's kind of apparent um, that they can just either draft a wide receiver or go get a, go get one in a trade or dive into free agency and go get another wide receiver. So there's many options and many avenues that they could take um, to get to the destination that they want, to land the wide receiver that they want on their team. So I don't think that Jordan Matthews is enough of a priority for them to even think about re-signing him. However, I would love to see him back in Buffalo wearing 87. So the last thing that I want to talk about is Brandon Riley and Malachi Dupree. 
Now both of these guys were kind of balling out in preseason a little bit. They were showing us what they can do every time they stepped on the field um, to try to make that active roster, make a push for the active roster. In my own opinion, I really wanted um, Brandon Riley to be on the active ro roster, but I just didn't think that there was enough space for him with Brandon Tate being the return specialist. I think the Buffalo Bills should highly, highly consider giving these guys a chance on the active roster, especially Brandon Riley, because in preseason, I think he did have a touchdown. I'm, I'm pretty sure he had one touchdown. I don't know if he had another but he did show flashes that he can be a good wide receiver again now I have to say that they, he was probably playing against third stringers but you never know unless you put a guy on the active roster and actually have him play a game like you never know like look at Adam Thielen for example from the Minnesota Vikings he wasn't looked at as a very good guy and now he's looked at as one of the top wide receivers in this league arguably don't crucify me for saying that so all in all, I think the Buffalo Bills will end up getting some new wide receivers, maybe two or three, um, depending on if they re-sign like Jordan Matthews, which I don't think they will, or re-sign um, Deontay Thompson, which I really hope they do. And I think most people will agree with me on re-signing Deontay Thompson because he kind of was our only deep threat. So he does play that part very, very well for the Buffalo Bills. And I can see him being back next year, especially on a one or two year deal, maybe even three years, depending on what they see fit. But let me know what you guys think in the comments. I want to know exactly what wide receiver you think the Buffalo Bills should go after, whether that be free agency or the draft or even trading for one. Like, what wide receivers would you love the Buffalo Bills to go out and trade for? Um, I want to know. And um, so if you guys enjoyed this video, please go leave a like down below. Comment your opinions. Let me know exactly what you guys think about this video let me know exactly who you guys want the buffalo bills to go after and if you haven't already please subscribe to the buffalo fanatics channel for more amazing content and i'll see you guys in the next one peace